One October survivors are raising new questions about Metro's body camera videos released yesterday by the department. A spokesperson for the department told us they refused to answer those questions. Fox 5's Adam Herbert shows us the inconsistencies. Metro's latest released videos show a team entering the shooter's room on the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay. Get in your room. Get in your room and lock yourself in the room. But for yeah, yeah, at go, go, least go, go. the first half hour, the footage shows Sergeant Joshua Bitsko and Officer David Newton working their way up, sweeping and clearing the 28th floor, the 29th floor, the 30th floor, and the 31st. I couldn't believe it. I was literally in shock. Brian Claypool is a 1 October survivor and an attorney representing victims. He listened to the audio recording of Jesus Campos telling security the exact room number. I'm saying to myself, the shooter, Paddock, is on the 32nd floor. He's in room 32125. So why are the police officers on the 29th floor? Why are they on the 31st floor? Has anybody been on 32? Now? Yeah, there's a team on 32 right now. So far, Metro hasn't released video from those officers' cameras. Every second was the difference between somebody living and somebody dying. Claypool says he's also frustrated with the way Metro released the videos. Back in October, when they released footage from the strip, those videos included a timestamp. Seven months later, the time codes aren't there, and when we asked Metro why, they said they had, quote, absolutely no comment. Seven months after the, the worst shooting in the history of the United States, and we still don't have an accurate, credible timeline. 